the jersey. I could totally do what you do. I could do what you do. Anyone here on a first date? <laughs> Last date? Which one of these do you prefer? It shouldn't be a big decision. Are those not the same? No. No. Not at all. Yeah, I know. I just didn't know if you knew. It's a tough call. They're so different. Mmm. Something funny? Winter is coming. <laughs> you could get into this. Giving blood after a tragedy is not only necessary, but has become a symbol of resilience, a way for grief to be channeled into action. We jumped in our car, went and got our friend Justin and Jordan, and we ran to the blood bank because they said that we were in a crisis and they didn't have enough blood to help support what they were seeing on the street. You want to go, you want to go help, but that morning you find out that you can't donate blood. Correct. There's a ban on men, gay men, um, giving blood. You know, it was just one of those, uh, another shock to the system that day. According to the FDA, which oversees the safety of the U.S. blood supply, men who have had sex with men, even protected sex, within the past year, cannot donate. I know that I have had regular tests and I know I'm a, uh, an HIV negative person that I felt like, why couldn't I give blood and why couldn't they screen it? It's a good question. Fact is, all blood, regardless of the donor, is screened for a number of things, including hepatitis B, C, and HIV. So I decided to go down to the One Blood Blood Bank to better understand this policy. People want to channel their grief in some way, and it's always seen that blood donation is, is one of those things. I, I don't know what to do. This is something I can do. Maybe, mm -hmm. maybe I can help. But there is something on the form that prevents uh, certain populations of people from donating. T talk about that. What, what is this? What, what are the criteria? What are the restrictions? Well, every blood center is required to follow the rules and guidelines handed down by the Food and Drug Administration. So we don't make the rules, we play by them. And um, we have to follow them. And when it comes to the specific, there's specific questions on there that the Food and Drug Administration has on the form. And if somebody uh, checks yes or no to certain answers, then they may be deferred at that time. Here's the FDA's questionnaire. Question 19, male donors, in the past 12 months, have you had sexual contact with another male? If one of these donors says to you, Susan, why can't I donate? What do you say? I say we have to follow the rules from the FDA. And I, I feel for them, believe me, we all do, because we know that people want to do the right thing and they want to come out and donate. The FDA says it's a matter of risk, but this has become a contentious issue on the floors of government, the White House, and among scientists. The policy we have really prevents a lot of HIV negative gay men. The vast majority of us are HIV negative, and it prevents us from being able to donate and contribute to emergency preparedness and, you know, in this case, to help people who have been shot. It's a policy that may no longer make sense in the wake of advancing science and tremendous need. It's a matter of more like 100 to 200 units as opposed to just a few units as some hospitals uh, keep. We had one patient that went through almost 200 units of blood just in the first 24 hours. Fortunately, there was enough goodwill here in Orlando to keep up with the tremendous demand for blood. But the inability of people like Scott to donate has added insult to injury. No, and I mean, I think the word would be you feel discriminated, right? I mean, you go down there, you're crying, you're, you're, all of our friends are coming together at that moment because we just wanted to help. And then to be told you couldn't because, again, it's the same thing we've felt all, for the last few days. Just because we love each other, just because we care for each other, that we can't, we can't do this. And it's, it's infuriating. It's, it makes us want to stand up and scream from the mountaintops, like, what, what, why is our blood not good enough?